There's a proverb in my country that goes something like, "You can't understand your problem by looking at your problem." In other words, we can only understand how we got here by looking at our daily actions and inactions for the past many years. Every one of us has lofty dreams, ambitions, and desires, but dreams are not enough as long as we have daily habits which are enemies of our dreams. Our dreams will only remain what they are, dreams. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you the three habits that may be destroying your chances of success. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. I will do it later. One of the stories I repeat a few times on this channel is the story of my friends who wanted to become entrepreneurs at the same time when I decided to be an entrepreneur. These people were my friends. We read together and dreamed together, but when I decided to face my fear in the year 2008, many of these people told themselves the time is not right yet. I will do it later. It's probably one of the single most dangerous habits that destroy people's chances of success, because later is usually never. Let's do the math together. If today you're 21 and you have a dream, but you somehow make yourself believe that the weather isn't right now to start pushing your dream. What happens next is you are 25 and 29, and before you know it, the weather is only getting worse. That's what it is. The weather is rarely ever good enough. Procrastination is the arch enemy of success, and until you can overcome the spirit of doing important things later, you may never achieve your dreams in life. The day I started fully in the business world, I had no money. When I say that I had no money, That isn't true because I had something less than fifty dollars. But as you may know, that is not money. I could have waited for ten thousand dollars or even a hundred thousand dollars, but I knew that the weather is rarely good enough to start anything. Johann Wolfgang Volte said, and I quote: "Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Boldness is magical, and I can tell you from my experience: when you step out." The weather starts becoming clearer and clearer. I'm not promising you that it will be very easy, but I'm telling you, stepping out towards your dream increases your chances of success. Karen Lamb said, and I quote: "A year from now, you may wish you had started today. If you think that today isn't the right time to start taking little steps towards your dream, well, a year from now, you may wish you had started today, and ten years from now, you may have regret for not starting today." The world is dark, bad, and evil. Some times ago, when we started this channel, one of our concerns was that we are black, and not just black, we are Nigerians. What if the world doesn't accept our message because of our color? What if the world rejects us because we come from a country that is popular for many wrong reasons? Today, we know better, and this is what we've learned building this channel. You see, poison is small. Poison isn't as big as a burger. And what that means is that most people in the world are good. Yes, we have whites that hate blacks, and we have blacks that are criminals. But that's not the big picture. In the true big picture of the world, most people are good. Let's look at this from another angle. Most people tend to believe that all the opportunities have been taken by a few rich people, but that's not true. As long as the human race exists, there will always be new opportunities for curious souls to take advantage of. Another pessimistic view about life is that well, yesterday was better. No, yesterday wasn't better. Today is, and tomorrow will even be better. Now you get where I'm going. Your worldview has a great influence on your chances of success. If you view the world as a doomed place, you'll be depressed most times. You won't be optimistic, and because you're not optimistic, you won't be willing to dare difficult things. And because you don't dare difficult things that can lead to your dreams, you won't achieve the success you desire. I challenge you to reconsider your world's view. I don't mean to tell you that there are no racists in the world. Yes, a few percentages of us are racist. I don't mean to tell you that there are no greedy rich people who try to make the world their empire. Yes, there are a good number of them. I don't mean to tell you that the government of your country is good. Not very likely. Instead, what I'm telling you is that the evil ones among us. Are like poison. They are not human being. They are not big. Their evil acts simply make them seem big. Most humans are still good humans. Most whites are still kind people, and most blacks are still nice people. 
there are still countless opportunities out there waiting for someone to explore and discover. There are better and easier ways to make money and achieve your dreams today than ever in the history of the human race. If you don't have a positive attitude towards life, you won't have faith in your future. And if you don't have faith in your future, how can you dream big and pursue your dreams? Your worldview is a habit. You were not born with it. You developed it as you grew up in the world and you can change it if you like. How you see the world determines what you get out of the world. One of the things that changes the way you see the world is by you listening to the stories of ordinary people who achieved great success with their lives and that's what we do with our channel. We share with you the inspiring stories of the ordinary people who have risen from failure to success so that you can be inspired to pursue your dreams. We call our other channel Hunt TV and you can join the channel in the description box. Doing what is compulsory and not what is important. The third habit I think is responsible for most failure is the habit of doing what is compulsory and not what is important. I explained this concept in detail in our other video but let me repeat what it means here. You see, people who do what is compulsory work hard on things as long as someone is there to crucify them if they don't. Think about a man who is overweight. One day he visits the doctor for a checkup and the doctor lets him know that his weight will soon take his life. The man will most likely get out of the doctor's office and be willing to do anything in the world to get rid of those extra pounds. Now, I want to ask you, why doesn't this man make sacrifices to lose those extra pounds before? Well, it was not compulsory to lose weight. It is only important. Most people in the world don't do things except it's compulsory. You have to live a better life. You have to focus your life on what is important, even if it is not compulsory. You have to make up your mind to do whatever you have to do, even if nobody is there to force you to do it. You have to be self-motivated or you won't achieve anything with your life. Here is the summary of this video. First, procrastination is the number one enemy of your progress and success in life. If you can't close your eyes and do step out even when the weather is in clear, you won't achieve much with your life. Second, your world's view determines what you get out of life. If you think every opportunity is taken, you won't be curious to look for opportunities and you won't find any opportunity that can change your life. Third, if you only do what is compulsory, then you are like everyone else. Everyone can do what is compulsory. What most people don't do is what is important because what is important may not be compulsory. For example, it is not compulsory to read books about money. It is not compulsory to consciously hang out with people who are doing better than you and it is not compulsory to exercise your body. Do what is compulsory and you'll end up like most people. Do what is important regardless of whether it's compulsory or not and you'll achieve great success with your life. If you like this video, you might like to join our motivational channel. We call it Hunt TV. Look at the description box to join the Hunt TV. We love you.